Wikipedia defines viral marketing as a technique that uses pre-existing social networks to produce increases in brand awareness or to achieve other objectives, such as product sales, through self-replicating viral processes. The terminology exploded with the advent of the World Wide Web, allowing users to literally spread a message, song, or video, much like a virus. And, like any social phenomenon, it didn't take long for the capitalist perspective to rear its fortuitous head. Businesses across the world started using viral marketing to exploit their products, services, and brand name. Today, viral marketing is more widespread than ever, especially in the sport industry, where companies utilize new media to exploit these initiatives for much lower costs and hopefully much higher return. One of the first major companies to go viral was Nike. Long associated with innovative marketing strategies, Nike struck gold once again in early 2008 when the company released a video showing NBA superstar Kobe Bryant jumping over a moving car. Come on, man. Hey, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Just watch what I do, man. Come on, bring it down. Though the video was originally intended to mark the release of Nike's Hyperdunk shoes, the nearly 10 million views of the spot on YouTube alone is proof that viral status is far from a niche strategy. In fact, recent research by the distribution and advertising platform VideoBloom reveals just how important video is to the average consumer. Of the 20 most popular sports websites on the internet, 65% feature video directly on their homepage, and 80% offer a video center comparable to a corporate television channel. The obvious next step is for marketers to capitalize on this interest, but it's not as simple as uploading an outrageous video to YouTube and hoping for increased revenue. Senior Vice President David Rich of Turn Here, a highly successful internet video production company, calls web video a lean forward experience, unlike that of television. He says marketers need to engage the audience, keep the content relevant, make the video Google friendly, and make it easily shareable through other social media. Most importantly, Rich says, the video needs to provide some sort of action path for the consumer, whether it is a new product release or even an exposed URL. Take the Portuguese football club Sporting Portugal. In the 2007 effort to increase ticket sales, visitors to the club website were given the opportunity to enter their phone number and receive a personalized video and phone call from the team's coach, urging the viewer to get to the stadium and suit up for the club by the second half. Mister, Mister, valt er, valt er geen. Geen. Tu, fala para o vento. Está à espera de quê? É porque vai começar e ainda não estás connosco. Anda rápido que fazes falta. E traz a camisola. Ele prometeu que vem. One of the most successful viral initiatives to date, the team received 200,000 participants in two days and easily filled their stadium over the next few weeks. This type of result exemplifies the benefit of what viral marketing can do for an organization. Yet most companies are reluctant to get involved because of the unclear measures of success accompanying the initiatives. Though many pundits simply view 1 million views as a successful benchmark for any viral spot, the metrics vary depending on company and internal objective. Brand engagement, number of times shared, and overall reach are other determinants that need to be accounted for. Specialized companies like TubeMogul.com can actually upload your video to all the top sharing sites and even track live analytics such as views, per second drop-offs, and consumer demographics.
As marketing budgets shift and managers become more aware of the power behind these initiatives, viral video marketing will increase even more in the coming years. The evolution of social media and those that consume it will play a large part in determining more advanced measures of return, ensuring greater access to the viral world by companies both large and small. Stay tuned for more information on viral video in the next month, including the best tips on how to make your own. For the Sports and New Media blog, I'm Ryan Pierce.